Hey everyone, this is Kubo. Welcome back to Escape from Monkey Island. We are here in the governor's mansion on Melee Island, where Elaine, our lovely governor wife, has just taken off to, well, do her election campaign thingy. To ensure that Charles or Charles, aka Ghost Pirate Chuck, does not win. Meanwhile, we are off to do something. Oh yeah, we're gonna talk to the voodoo lady down here in Melee Town. There she is. Good afternoon, citizen. Yes, yes. Come out, come out, wherever you are. You fool. Yes, Lurch. Ah, Guybrush, I knew you'd return. How can I help you? I see that you are finally ready to ask me about the ultimate insult. Yeah. What would you like to know about it? I sense that you want to know what the ultimate insult is. Good guess. The ultimate insult is the most coveted and dangerous voodoo item the world has ever known. More coveted and dangerous than the indescribable terrors of Big Whoop? Twice as coveted and five times as dangerous. Yowie! What does it do? It is a powerful talisman that allows its owner to spew incredibly foul insults. Insults? That's all? I thought it would be a potion that turned people inside out or something. But these are no ordinary insults, Threepwood. These are insults spoken in an ancient, forgotten tongue. Insults so vile, so emotionally crippling, that they transform even the fiercest of pirates into an egoless mass of goo permanently. Wow! Now, wait a minute. If the insults are in a forgotten language, how come they're so dangerous? Wouldn't that have the same effect as insulting me in Finnish? <laughs> You'd think that, wouldn't you? But the language used by the ultimate insult is so ancient that it's rumored to be the primal language. The tongue from which all other languages arose. Amplified by the voodoo magics of the ultimate insult, this original language has the power to speak to the very heart of a person's soul and mock it into oblivion. Whoa. Indeed. That's actually pretty horrifying. I see that you want to know how to make an ultimate insult. That would be useful. Sadly, I have no idea how to make an ultimate insult talisman. That's strange. You've always seemed to be the master of all things voodoo-like. Yes, but the ultimate insult was outlawed dozens of years ago in the aftermath of a terrible battle between two ultimate insult-wielding hoon guns that shattered the egos of an entire chain of islands. That's awful. And bad for business. As a face-saving gesture, the United Voodoo Workers of the Tri-Island area agreed to gather up and destroy all known copies of the ultimate insult recipe, lest one ever be assembled again. I see that you want to know where to find the makings of an ultimate insult. It would be good to know where to start. As I said, the instructions to build an ultimate insult have been destroyed. However, I seem to recall that the individual pieces of an ultimate insult can only be found on one island. Monkey Island? Mm, no, too obvious. It was some other island entirely. Unfortunately, this island's name has also been lost to the vagaries of time. Very well. Okay, then. I need any more of your enigmatic hoodoo right now. As you wish, Guybrush. I'll be here later if you need me. Actually, I don't feel all that enlightened yet. I think there are something else we need to ask her. Ah, 
Skybrush, I knew you'd return. How can I help you? I can oh, tell oops. that you're still confused about the outcome. What would you like to know? Very well. This one. I sense that you want to know the connection between the Mali heirlooms and the ultimate insult. Stop doing that! But you're right. This chest contains Grandpa Marley's heirlooms. According to Grandpa Marley's letter, his wedding presents to Elaine hold the key to assembling the ultimate insult. But there's so much stuff in these heirlooms that it's hard to separate the presents from the junk. Ah, I sense powerful voodoo forces at work here. Weddings, nuptials, bands of gold. Reveal to us a gift that's old. Hey, a pair of earrings. Lacy veils and prenups too. Show us the symbol of something new. Ooh, a necklace. Bridesmaids tinged with jealous sorrow. Bring to light a present borrowed. A pen on a chain? What kind of present is that? One heart beats where once were two. The final gift is something blue. Oh, the final gift is something blue. Is something wrong? Yes. There should be a fourth wedding gift in here. A blue wedding gift. But my mystic senses detect nothing. Maybe it's still on Luker Island. I don't think so. My voodoo instincts tell me it's somewhere on Melee Island. How curious. Do you have any idea where I can find the blue wedding present? Only that it's somewhere on Melee Island. I don't need any more of your enigmatic hoodoo right now. As you wish, Guybrush. I'll be here later if you need me. Okay then. First off, let's go visit good old Meat Hook. The guy who joined our crew in the first game, if you remember. Well, at least he got a bridge this time instead of this whole rope thingy. Just talk to him. Disturb him. Meat hook. Guy brush. I'd heard you were killed by a giant clam. <laughs> Rumors of my death have been greatly exaggerated. Not too much is celebrated. What? <laughs> oh, nothing. Uh, <clears throat> what brings you to my humble loft, old friend? I thought we could catch up on old times. Like what? How did you and Carla and Otis escape from Monkey Island? Team. Same way you did, of course. On Herman's hidden pirate ship? Herman had a ship? That jerk never told us. I uh, guess we didn't escape the same way you did. If you didn't use Herman's ship, how did you? Escape from Monkey Island. I don't want to talk about it. Oh, come on. No. Whatever happened to your parrot? You mean the beast? Oh, we died. Hunger? Loneliness. A parrot without someone to talk to is a sad parrot. If you guys don't remember, uh, Meat Hook was absolutely terrified of parrots because apparently a parrot was the animal that took off both his hands. Do you still do that thing you do? I don't know what you're talking about. You know, that funny thing you do. Come on, do the funny thing you do. I still don't know what you're talking about. You know, that thing you do with the talking and the face. If you don't want to do the funny thing, just say so. What are you talking about? You know, the thing with the tattoo. Ow! Oh, you mean this? Watch this, guys. Hello, guy brush. That's it. See, what's cool about this, it's a, I think it's a little bark. But you can actually make the tattoo's face change permanently. Could you do the thing with the tattoo again? Sure. 
Fine. If you time it right. Could you do the thing with the tap? Sure. Fine. Okay. I'm not gonna waste any more time on that. Uh, on second thought, I really don't have time to reminisce. Excuse Fine me. by me. What do you want to talk about? What's with all the candles? I use them to create me art. Your art? I didn't know you had an art. Oh, yes. As a child, I was one of the foremost watercolor painters in the Tri Island area. See? Here are me old paintbrushes. Nice. I love painting, but after I lost me hands in the accident, it's a parrot. I just sort of drifted into piracy. I didn't really like being a pirate, but what else could I do? I was a painter with no hands. So how did you end up painting with wax? Well, after my traumatic experience on Monkey Island... Sorry. I decided that I didn't want to be a pirate no more, and resolved to return to the world of art. Well, to make a long story short... Too late. One night, I discovered that I could create paintings from the wax drippings of coloured candles impaled on me orcs. Since then, I have been known to art lovers everywhere as Meat Hook, Master of Wax. That's the silliest story I've heard in hours. Do you sell a lot of these wax dripping paintings? They're selling like wildfire, which is ironic. Why? Because if you put them next to a wildfire, they melt. <laughs> okay. The humor of the artistic elite has always escaped me. I'm looking for something called the ultimate insult. I could use your help. How can I help? Do you have any idea what the ultimate insult is? Not a clue. Maybe you should ask the old voodoo lady. She's good with stuff like that. Do you know what the ultimate insult looks like? Nope. I'm looking for Grandpa Marley's fourth wedding present. Why? Because it'll help me find the island of the pieces of the ultimate insult. That's funny. Why? Many years ago, when I was a child prodigy using conventional watercolors, Grandpa Marley hired me to paint him a map of the Tri-Island area. He said it was going to be a wedding present for his granddaughter. Unfortunately, he left for Australia before I finished it. Where's that painting today? I don't know. When I began working with wax, I painted over all my old watercolors. I just couldn't stand looking at them anymore. I think I covered Marley's map with some sort of landscape. That's all I can remember, though. Do you still have it? Oh, no. My waxy creations are sold faster than I can produce them. Marley's map could be anywhere by now. Darn. Do you think that the map you painted for Grandpa Marley is really the fourth wedding present? It seems likely. And you really don't know where it is? All I know is that it's out there, somewhere, with a beautiful waxy landscape painted over it. Okay, I then. I plumb this ultimate insult mystery on my own. Okay. Anything else? Oh, nothing important. Go back to what you were doing. Thanks. And while we are here, let's grab one of these. And if I remember correctly, that is about all we need from here. Yeah, let's get out of here. And that guy is the perfect example of what happens if you skip leg day. Shit biscuit. Great pictures of Grog. You've done something horrible to the scum bar. Welcome to the Lua Bar. I'll be right with you. See what's funny about this whole 
naming thing is that scum, as it was uh, called before, it's C-U-M-M, was the engine of the original games. And I believe that Lua code was used for the later games, uh, that is uh, from the third, at least. they did to the scum bar? Scum bar? What's that? It's what this place used to be before they redecorated it. It was dark, dingy, smelled like grog gone bad. Sounds disgusting. <sighs> yeah, it was great. What's good to eat here? Do you like sushi? I'm sure I wouldn't. Mm, you need to ease into it then. Order something that isn't raw to start with, and then work your way to the good stuff. Good stuff? I hope by that you don't mean the stuff that looks like it lived in the bilge of a ship last week. Ooh, the unagi. <laughs> That's the best. Yeah, I like sushi, actually. You aren't from around here, are you? Does it show? When I travel, I try not to look like a tourist. I like to really get to know the place I'm visiting. Then this is the wrong place. You should be down by the docks, working the ships, drinking grog. It doesn't sound like much fun. This is plenty authentic enough for me. Thank you. Thanks for your time. Sure. Fiends. The atrocities they've committed. Ugh. Excuse me. Why, hello. Great getup. What do you mean, great getup? Well, uh, you look really authentic. Just like a, you know, a real swashbuckler. Do you work here? No, I am a real swashbuckler. My wife's the governor. I'm a mighty pirate captain. Whoa. You really get into character. Shut up. What's good on the menu? Uh, I like everything. Really? That sushi stuff looks pretty gross if you ask me. Well, don't tell anyone, but <laughs> I don't like it either. But everyone else is eating it, and, you know, after all, isn't that what real pirates eat? No. I've heard the flaming scuttlefish is the way to go if you don't like sushi, though. Did you know this place used to be a real pirate bar? Really? More than this? Oh yeah, they had real grog, real pirates, and real fights. Whoa, sounds great, but uh, what's grog? Uh, never mind. Enjoy your stay. Yeah, thanks. What? Whoa. Excuse me, miss. I'll be right with you. Why don't you have a seat first? Fine. These bar stools have flowers on them. Somehow that just doesn't seem right. Let's practice this for uh, real quick while we wait for the waitress. Uh, this one. Do we need to get the timing right? Which is right here, I think. Darn. Oh. The chopsticks were too weak. They just snapped right in half. Okay. Excuse me, miss. I think that was the right timing. Um, uh, miss? Can I help you? What happened to the scum bar? Oh, we're under new management now. We've done away with all the pirates, swill, and wenches. Ew. But I liked the pirates. Ew, gross. Nobody likes real pirates anymore. That sure they do. So last week. Shut up. But I liked the swill. We've replaced that old swill with family-friendly fun beverages. We have quite a selection. But I like the wenches. I mean, they, um, made it so authentically piratey. Our decorators went for realism without the fright. They insisted that we replace the wenches with totems and bamboo. Drink sales are down, but we can turn the lights on again. Excuse me, I have customers waiting? Lady, there's nothing authentic about this. Excuse me, miss. Besides, I wasn't done with you. Um, uh, miss? Can I help you? I'm a mighty thirsty pirate. What can I get you? I'll have a grog. We don't have that, but we do have a fine selection of tropical drinks. What? No grog? I'm not sure what that is, but I know we don't carry it. Can I interest you in a fine tropical drink? 
They come with cute little umbrellas. Nope. Perhaps I'll think it over. Okay, let me know when you decide. Can I order some food? Sure. What can I get you? I'm gonna skip through all the pointless banter right here because her voice really annoys me. Do you have anything that's cooked? Try the flaming scuttlefish. It's the only thing that isn't served raw. I'll have that. Excellent choice, sir. We're required to say that. Your order will be up shortly. Wait, what? You're required to say that? What good did that comment just do? See, here we are. Um, yeah, I um, just remembered we need something from the docks actually before we can do this, but let's practice anyway. Oh, this is too soon. Oh no, a Frenchman! Really? Oh, I better move before he sees what I did. At least there isn't a what in the name of rotting him from oh, the last game. Here is the problem. Some smart Alec has jammed the box. So help me if I find out who did this. gonna finish? I'm kind of wanting to get my paintbrush back. Oh, oui, oui. Ah, fix it again. Interesting that he didn't confiscate the paintbrush. Nope, 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 nope. Let's get out of here. The stupid glue bar. Off to the ducks. Oh, who are this? There's a quarter in here. I'm not picking that up. It's jammed! Stupid grog machine. Give me back my quarter. What's that yelling? Whoa. Need. Actually, I've already got one. Guy brush. Oh. What did I tell you about drinking grog? Uh. Guy brush, Ulysses Threepwood. Ulysses. No grog until my errands are finished. How the hell did she know? She was all the way over at the uh, melee town. God damn. Hey there, Mr. Cheese. Oi. Well, hello. Where's Carla? I'm right here. Where? She's on scupper cleaning duty. It's not fair. Otis cheats. I was witness. He beat you fair and square. What's Carla complaining about? Well, she and Otis played a round of insult rock, paper, and scissors <laughs> to see who would have to clean the scuppers. She lost. There's no such thing as an illy whacker. That's what I tried to tell that Australian jerk, but it didn't work for me either. Where did Otis wander off to now? Oh, he's around here somewhere. I told him not to leave the shipyards. How are things down here? Quiet. Too quiet. Uh, okay. Um, there's something I need to tell you about the scum bar. 
What might that be? Um. It was basically. The ground. That's a good one, Freakwood. I think I would have heard something if that happened. Uh, okay. There's something else I need to tell you about the scum bar. Now what? Someone broke all the windows. Ah, that happens all the time. The good salty sea breeze actually helps freshen the air inside a bit. Huh. There's something else I need to... Now what? It's doing fine. Nothing to worry about. That's what I like to hear. Huh. You'll never guess what I found out about that Charles L. Charles character. What? He's actually LeChuck in disguise. How about that? Aren't you surprised that Charles L. Charles is really LeChuck? Are you kidding? That was foreshadowed from the start. Yeah, it kind of was. Have you ever heard of something called the ultimate insult? It wouldn't have anything to do with being beaten in insult arm wrestling by a spaghetti-armed <laughs> pirate wannabe, would it? Um, no. And I don't know nothing about it. I think that was an Let's insult. Get back to work now. Work? Is that what you call it? Shut up. That's the second most beautiful figurehead I've ever seen. Hey, she's got pierced ears. Why would anyone put earrings on a ship's figurehead? Let's find out, shall we? Now that we're here. Uh, oh, oops. Kind of took the long way around there. Oi. Who? What? Where? Whoa. Oh, what the hell is with that you voice? Just leave me alone, could you? Most pirates would be happy with a gorgeous and animate figurehead. But no, you had to stick those accursed voodoo earrings into me. Well, here I am, an enchanted, talking, ticked off figurehead. Am I everything you hoped for? Hey, a talking figurehead. Hey, a talking monkey. Well, actually, I'm a mighty pirate captain. Besides, there's no such thing as a talking monkey. Says you, I've been everywhere in this cesspool of a tropical paradise, and I've seen everything. Much more than some grog lights will a nobody like you. Um, okay. Well, I'll talk to you later. Suits me fine. Hey! Who painted me pink? <laughs> Let's see if we can't lighten her up a little bit with a present. A statuesque lady of your beauty should have a necklace. Oh, how sweet. You remind me of the daughter your parents never had. <laughs> what is this compulsion you have to dress me up, you pantaloon free? <laughs> She's rude, but I like her. Um... Okay then, back to the Lua Bar. Actually, I'm gonna refuse to call it Lua Bar. For me, it's a scum bar. Oh man. I like how she actually goes to the little lady's shop. Like, they don't already know each other. Ish, I guess. Well, Elaine knows about the voodoo lady anyway. Let's mess this thing up. Let's see, we probably have to order another it's flaming scuttlefish. Miss? Can I help you? Can I order some food? Sure. What can I get you? Do you have anything that's cooked? Try the flaming scuttlefish. It's the only thing that isn't served raw. I'll have that. Excellent choice, sir. We're required to say that your order will... Yes, yes.
Okay, let's see if I get the timing right this time. I think that's good. I hope that's good. Shut up, Frenchman. Uh -oh. I better move before he sees what I did. No offense, potential French viewers. What are these brushes doing here? This is not unlike uh, the first game where we had to. I wonder what uh, kind of yummy goodies are baking in there. Um. No, my grog. Here we go. Anyway, sneaking in here is a lot like the first game, where we had to wait for the chef to leave. Except this time we just had to lure him out. Kitchen actually looks a lot bigger than the, in the first game. Strangely enough. Oh yes, nice! Exactly what we need. My beautiful painting shares ruin. You might as well take it. It is of no use to me now. Thanks. Okay then, back to the ducks. Yep. Okay then. So before we continue with this and add the painting to her. It? I don't know. So we can get to our destination to find the ultimate insult. I am gonna take a break right here and yeah, when we come back, we'll go find the pieces. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you'll leave me a thumbs up or a comment, maybe even a subscribe if I'm lucky. Uh, see you next time. Bye.